Hello everyone and welcome back to Wolf Quest 2.7. We are here today with Moon Dancer and the Moon Pack Legacy, getting ready to see whether or not Moon Dancer and her mate Nyx are ready to have their third and final litter. I am really nervous because Moon Dancer is actually under the ancestor dream of the cold from her sister Destiny, who passed away quite a while ago. And that means Ooh, apparently there's some elk nearby. Okay, let's go hunt them. That means that we can only hunt during winter and all these elk you see here are the elk that we are going to 100% have to be relying on for food after the puppies are born. Moon Dancer and Nyx are not allowed to hunt elk after winter is over, which means that we're going to do just a couple more quick little elk because now that we have a little bit of experience with rain on Bring It On, we know how hard it is going to be to hunt during... Um, like, or to feed the puppies when it's on Bring It On. And oh my goodness, those puppies, they're so hungry all the time. And I'm a little nervous that we won't have enough elk to feed them based off of the elk we currently have scattered around, which sounds ridiculous. I think we have like eight, eight elk scattered, but uh, we just have to be really careful. Come on, Nyx, we got this. Let's take her down right here. Perfect. And she actually ended up right in front of the den. So this will probably be one of the very first elk that we end up feeding to our puppies. So that's a good thing. And let's see, you can count. I mean, it looks like there's a ton, but some of those are really far. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Hmm. And I'm pretty sure there's some more that are kind of over in this direction that would show up. But yeah, there's been quite a few elk that we took out. And I just want to get like one or two more because I'm so nervous that the puppies won't survive because this is going to be a brutal ancestor challenge. You guys actually ended up picking a couple of the hardest ancestor challenges that we possibly had. All right, for everybody, come on. All right, who's going to scatter? There we go. Let's go get her. No, Nyx, not that whatever one you were chasing. All right, and let's get this elk. Go ahead and bite her rump a lot. Come on, the moon dancer. And Moon Dancer has been such a great... Okay, hang on. Easy there, easy there. We've got this, Nyx. We've got this. Look at her. But Moon Dancer has been such a phenomenal hunter so far. Come on, come on. All right, grab her butt. Grab her butt. You can do it. You can do it. But she's been such a great hunter with her mate so far. There we go, Nyx. Come on, Nyx. That I'm not too worried about them being able to have their puppies survive, but I am a little concerned because oh, uh, it's just we won't be able to hunt. All right, but I think we're done now, you guys. I actually spent a little bit of time chasing two more elk near the summer hunting ground, so we stacked up on food over there. <sighs> Is this it? Is this it? I think this will be okay. I think this will be okay. We'll just have to move very, very quickly with Moon Dancer because the puppies are going to get very hungry and this is going to be it. So Moon Dancer is carrying the last ancestor dream that she is going to be answering to only feed her puppies with the elk that she has killed with Nyx during the winter hunts. And now we're going to work our way over to the den right here. This den has served us very well in the past. We have had all eight of Moon Dancer's puppies survive, which is going to give you guys so many new wolves to pick from for the next generation, including the four little ones who are going to be born right now. So let's go ahead. Moon Dancer knows she's at home. Nyx is here with us. The mission is complete. It is time to mark our territory. The very familiar territory we have made this home for basically all of Moon Dancer's adult life. I'm a little nervous for her because I think that she would be a lot more positive and optimistic about, you know, well, I don't know if optimistic really ever, really ever suits Moon Dancer, but I think she's become a very dedicated parent. I think at first she just kind of was protecting her puppies because that's what you're supposed to do. And now she's much more actually cares about the puppies and again that's if we're thrusting human emotion onto the wolves which is not something you should ever do for real wolves but we do for the sake of story here in wolf quest so let's go ahead and mark the territory i i kind of want to check this this like spot this rock over here ha there's the rock because we've had bunnies and things pop up when we're when we're at this rock before but i think that's only in the spring. Right, Nyx? Right. Alright. 
So, and I, and we can't hunt after spring comes. So I don't know if it's a bunny, maybe we'll allow that just because bunnies don't really, they're literally just the lucky rabbit's foot. They don't really give you any boost to your, to your food for real. They're like one mouthful of food. So maybe if we just have a bunny pop right up in front of us, we'll be okay and we'll use that one. All right, and let's go ahead and mark the territory. Getting the two furthest sides so that those can stay nice and strong. Oh, Moon Dancer, I'm so excited. We're gonna see your lost puppies. So it's really fun because her cousin, who is currently running the Stormy Skies Legacy of Wolves, the Stormy Skies pack, just had all girls. So we're gonna have to see what Moon Dancer has this time. Is she gonna have girls, boys, a mix of both, like usual? Oh, there's the bunny! <laughs> <laughs> That's so funny! So the bunny showed up maybe as a lucky sign for the babies being born. So let's check out the puppies. They're all girls again! What? What? Okay, so we have all females again. This is amazing. So let's see. Let's go with... um. Hmm, I have quite the list of names and we're going to pick out the little girl names. So... Hmm. Well, Stardance is actually one of them I've been thinking about because it's kind of a combination of Starlight and Moon Dancer. So Stardance is one, and then we've also got, oh gosh, mostly these are boy names left because <laughs> we've mostly had boys. There's Lunala, which I think is really nice. It's kind of a, um, a tribute to Luna, the great-grandmother, and now the great-great-grandmother of these particular wolves. And hopefully we'll have a little white wolf. I'm really hoping that'll show up. Astrid. So we'll have a little Astrid in here. And then finally, we also have mm, Andromeda, which I think is the name of one of our former pups that we did have uh, in probably Eclipse's legacies, Eclipse's litters, but I don't think any of them survived. All right, not these ones. <gasps> Look at that, Andromeda, oh my gosh. We have the white puppy, you guys. Oh my goodness, okay, I kind of want to hang on a second. All right, where are you puppies? Uh, pack stats, we're actually going to switch the names. So this is going to be Andromeda. And then this is going to be Lunala. So Lunala is, there we go. Lunala carries the name of her grandmother, her great-great-grandmother. Because she is finally our very first white puppy born in the moon pack in ages and ages. Oh my gosh. All right, we've got to gather all of our babies up. Come on, you guys. Come on. Back to the den. Oh yeah, and then we've also got to make it night. No wonder I thought something was off. It's not night. All right, I know, I know our pups are getting hungry. Okay, hurry. Hurry, we really need it to change over to night, please. We're going to have predators any second now. Oh geez, I thought Nyx was like a coyote for a second, and I just about freaked out. Alright, easy there, easy there. There, that's better. Because keeping it night is part of uh, part of what we do here for this pack. Alright, let's go ahead and start howling. Come on, puppies! Andromeda Lunala, now is not the time for, for frivolous things. I've got to teach you guys to stay here. Oh my gosh, listen to them. Oh, they're so cute. All right, they should stay here. And let's hurry and go get them some food before the predators start showing up. So the puppy should stay safe in the den. I want my notification that the puppies are gonna be safe in the den, please. Oh darn, all right, let's go ahead and just fill up on this really quickly. Oh, there's a bear. There's a bear already waiting for us, you guys. Oh my, that took like no time at all. Pups are now safe until we return to the den, except for the fact there's a bear behind them. Well, bears are actually easier to chase away than coyotes in the long run. The long and short of it. Nyx is like, I smell something. Something's wrong. All right, let's come up here. One, two, three. There we go. Get out of here, Grizzly. That's right, you get out of here. All right, you hey ladies? I can't believe we have all girls. All right, start dance, here you go. And Lunala. All right, here you go. Is your dad trying to feed you? Yes, he is. All right, good. 
All right, Andromeda. Oh my gosh, they get so hungry so fast. Oh my goodness. I'm glad we took out so many elk. Because I think all we're going to be able to do is just like run between getting food and trying to defend our puppies. Ladies, stay near the den, please. Aha. That's what I thought. And what do you think you're trying to do, coyote? All right, we've got to get this coyote, you guys. Ah, let's get him. All right, that's right, Nyx. Okay, good. All right, we've got to keep marking territory. It's raining a lot. The, our territorial markers are slipping away. We need to let everybody know this is our spot so that we don't get the stranger wolves because getting stranger wolves in particular makes it so hard to defend our puppies. All right, let's turn around. I'm so excited for Lunala. Oh my gosh, and there's a hawk. Okay, stay there, babies. At night, no less. Is it really gonna try to come down? Where is the hawk? I don't see it. All right, star dance, there you go. I heard it. Maybe it was just bluffing? Lunala, there you go. Oh my gosh, these puppies. Astrid, there you go. Astrid. Okay, there we go. And coyote. <laughs> I feel like they've been born into chaos, the poor puppies. They're here with us now and it's just immediately like death and threats and lightning and thunder. Oh my gosh. All right, pups are safe until we return. Let's go get them some more food really quickly. Oh, Nick says, okay, Nick held still for a second. So I was like, oh no, there's, there's like more predators. Oh, I feel so good about all of the elk that we just have scattered everywhere now. This is what we need to be able to get them safely. In fact, they're a little bit full, so I'm gonna go for a further elk right now. But this is what we need to get them safely to the summer hunting grounds. All right, come on, Moon Dancer. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I feel like this is, this is her kind of like at her peak. This is her at her best. She's got the most experience. She's got the puppies. She's prepared. She's gonna do her best to let everybody know that she has brought a lot of strength and she's come in strong for the last two litters. But she's going to let everybody know that she's bringing strength to the moon pack. There we go. Come on, Nyx. Alright, yeah, she is bringing strength and honor to the moon pack. She has not let a single puppy be lost just yet. And that's through a combination of luck, but also hard-earned skills and experience. And I can't believe we have the white puppies now. So from now on, we should always have at least one white pup per litter, which is going to make things pretty interesting because you guys are always dying for a white wolf. And we finally have one. So now what you going to do now that we've got one? All right, let's make sure we start building up our stamina again. Hello, my little ones. All right, who's hungriest? Andromeda. All right, man, these little puppies, they do not wait two seconds to needing, like, fed. All right, Nyx, if you're not going to feed the puppies, it makes things a little harder. All right, but he knows I have a stomach full of food, so maybe that's it. All right, there we go. There we go, Andromeda. There we go, Astrid. All right, there we go, Lunala. There, you guys are all fed. Star dance. Star dance is dancing just in a circle over here. Oh gosh. All right, and we're going to continue to mark our territory. But I should expect I should expect trouble in just a second here. All right, come on, moon dancer. Oh, I'm so excited. I can't believe this is actually happening though that we've already finally got the babies. All right. They're coming after one of the puppies. Over here, huh? There you are. Trying to hide behind a dandelion? I don't think so. That is the downside of having so many dead elk scattered everywhere is that we will probably be attracting quite a few predators. All right, we need to go and get some more food for them while they're still full though. So let's run over to the furthest elk over here. Fill up, turn around, let's howl really quickly. Ah, Nyx. There he is. I love it when Nyx is just like right with us. All right, and we're gonna come over to this elk. We'll ignore those living elk 
because we can't hunt them anymore. Their scent must be really intoxicating to these two though. And then we're gonna fill up on this particular elk right here. There we go. These puppies, they're so hungry already. And all we did was like take five steps. Oh my gosh, I'm really glad we took out so many elk near the summer hunting grounds too. Because it's gonna be very tricky to keep these ones alive. Bring it on is the biggest challenge we have ever faced yet. I'm gonna be glad that whoever inherits the moon pack and the stormy skies pack, those two are not going to have to have the bring it on unless they get the ancestor dream for it. Because once you play a challenge level, that challenge level is taken out of play for the next litter. So thankfully, if, if we can just get through the bring it on with these two, then their children will inherit an easier setting, an easier year. All right, let's come up here. Hello, my little ones. Can I just pee right over here to let everybody know this is my spot? They're very calm little girls. All right, let's feed Lunala. And Stardance and Andromeda. I think Stardance and Lunala are my favorites already. That will protect and love all of them, don't you guys worry. All right, and let's get a little bit of territory marker down. We wanna make sure we don't let the stranger wolves, at the very least, come in. Because they cause the most problems. Alright, Nyx is still running around. Pups are safe until we return to the den. Alright, is this good? There we go. Our territory marker is beautiful. Almost 100%. Alright, and now we just have that tricky difficulty. Oh, Nyx! That was adorable! All of the babies are like, yeah, dad! Oh my gosh. So cool. All right, owls, are you gonna try to come? Eat my babies? All right, I'm waiting. I'm waiting, predators. <laughs> I almost feel like Moondancer's like, bring it on, I'll take you on. I'm waiting. Anybody coming? Okay. Okay, all right, you guys, I think that we're good. Apparently Moondancer has scared off a ton of the predators, so we will just stay here with her. We'll continue to feed the puppies. We'll continue to watch over our growing family and continue to try to defend them from anybody who might do them harm. So I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.